Hi. Oh, yes. Are they inside? Um, I didn't never see them get out their car. I guess they went in through the back door, so I guess they are inside. Okay. So, so they're not in the car anymore? Here, no. So here is my court order. Okay. And it says that I pick them up on the 1st, 3rd, and 5th. Mm -hmm. And they repeatedly do this. I come over here often. We're supposed to contact through the app. He doesn't use it. Okay. And so, like, it's an ongoing situation. So I never get out and knock, but because I don't want any problems. So I just decided to call y'all. I many call y'all. We have two children together. Okay. And uh, 15 and 16. Yeah. And this is our most recent court order. Okay. And then, um, okay, here's this. That is the call for service number on there. That's my name and my badge number. Um, I'll go try to make contact with them. But all the information that you had sent me in that picture about the report, that will be on that call for service number. And you can pull that at any time for your records. Okay, and so will I be able to uh, file a felony report? That is done through the court when they see this and you tell them how many times you've gone to go get your child. So you are you going, are you denying me the ability to file a criminal, a felony you criminal report? Yeah. Um, under the family code 44.002, it is a family code. That is a civil matter, but under the penal code, um, 2503 interference with the child, it's a state felony. Well, we're here. So, are y'all okay? I understand, and I'm very glad that y'all are. But are you denying me the ability to file a felony criminal report? We are not filing a report. So, you're denying me the ability to file a felony criminal report under the penal code now, 2503. I'm, to I'm just asking you a question. Well, I'm explaining something. To you. I'm just asking a question. We're not writing a report because we don't get involved in civil matters like that. Um, we don't get it now. Are you going to listen or are you going to yes. talk over me? Yes, sir. I'm going to listen. Are you a judge? No, sir. Are you a lawyer? No, sir. Are you a long-time police officer? No, sir. Okay. So, I just asked the question. You okay. See? I'm going to give you an explanation. Okay. And you don't have to like it. Okay. Uh, so, is, can I have your supervisor's phone number? And what's your name and badge number? My name is Corporal Holt. Um, how do you spell... Just H O L T. H O L T. And what's your badge number? Six fifty three. Six fifty three. And I am the supervisor on you. And you are the supervisor. And if you don't like uh, how things go down today, you I'm like just to asking make questions, no, sir. You and can, what's uh, your um, you can call the, already done for you. Come back. Okay, thank you. You can call the chief deputy on Monday morning, Jason Newton. Mm -hmm. uh, but child custody, child visitation is not enforceable by law enforcement unless we get an order from the judge. And the judge can enforce it a couple ways. He can issue a warrant for arrest or contempt of court for the person who's violating the agreement. Mm -hmm. And he can also um, file a writ of attachment, which tells a peace officer mm -hmm. to go take physical custody of the children. Mm -hmm. Until then, we have no authority to intervene. Okay, well, I showed up, they denied my child. So I just want to make a file of, okay. I want to make a felony report. Yeah, we don't do that. So you're denying me a felony report for, yes. a, for under the penal code 2503. You need to call your attorney because this is a civil agreement. Under 4402002. i you to Family call code, yes, it's a civil the, matter. There are millions of divorce decrees. Oh, yes, sir, I know. Uh, visitation agreements, many of which. She is not Some, the somebody, she is not the parent. Only he violence. is, sir. You would be the first one ever that was an exception to the rule. Maybe I get to make a change around here. You know, maybe I can get y'all more familiar with the penal code twenty five oh three so that way we won't have to keep well, going in circles with our well, children and in this been situation. Doing this for thirty years and uh, I'll That doesn't never make you smarter than me or, or, or you know more than me. I'm just I'm just here to see my children. That's okay. it. Well then the best thing for you to do is call your attorney and call the chief deputy Especially, on Monday morning. Yes, I have to because I've just been denied a felony report. We, we're not, we're not doing me. a felony report. This is a felony that's You're being mistaken. committed here. That's not how the law works. Okay. Well, I'm going to be caught in the You don't want to hear that? You don't want to be that? I'm going to be. Please do. Yes. After 8 a.m. Monday morning? Yes. The, the top guy in charge of those things is Jason Meachon. He's the chief deputy. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he'll be glad to talk to you. And... Uh, 
he might be able to explain to you about the child trust. Oh, uh, the thing you need to do is call your attorney because you have a civil agreement that needs to either be enforced yes. or modified. I, I, I did all those things, sir. And so, yes, that uh, the okay. family code 44.002 is a civil matter, but penal code 2503 penal, penal code is, is a felony. A it's a state felony. And the police officer who doesn't report it is a crime. Ma'am, if you want to go on with that, like you're smarter than everybody else, you're welcome to do that. Okay. This is America. You're free to do that. So but we're not doing that. The second son you have yes. at your house with you. Yes. And you don't make him come over here. Uh, they're supposed to go pick him up. Those are his, he's has to go pick, go to the house to pick him up. It's there. Yes. And you don't make him come over here. Uh, they're supposed to go pick him up. Those are his, he's has to go pick, go to the house to pick him up. It's there. I'm have both of them this weekend and he's supposed to go drive to our house. Like I do this and, and pick him up and enforce that and do all that. That's not my problem. I, I contact him through the app so and do all those things are supposed to drive to each other's houses say, to pick up each other's kids. None of that is criminal. No, I have my, I, we, I have them both on this weekend. He's supposed to have them both on next weekend. None of this okay, is criminal. Okay, and he criminal. hasn't been here for a year. Who? The other son? Uh, yes, my son just ran away and I have problems with that as well. He doesn't go pick him up. He's supposed to go drive and pick him up. Okay, well, if he I report that. Your son that lives here, he doesn't want to go with you. He's, he's not of age to say that. Okay, how he's, old is he? He's it? alienated. How old is he? We have we have a court order in best interest of the child. I am the non custodial I am the custodial parent. Under when it's my time, I become the custodial well, parent. We the other kid to is with not you. coming over here because he's not he doesn't to. want to, and this one doesn't want to go with mom. But she's coming to get him. But my he son lets him well, stay over there because because they have two kids. One has custody of one. One has custody of the other. And at that age. All they have to do is go in front of the judge and they can say where they want to live and what they want but to do. But they still need to follow the court order. And ma'am, so look, you listen. Need to call the so attorney. we have two kids, right? Mm -hmm. And my son said he gets to live here. So he got whenever I first third and fifth, I have both children. So next weekend he has to drive to my house to pick up the other child. But he never drives to my house to pick up the other child. So because I know the other child that. doesn't want to come here. Oh he doesn't have a choice. He doesn't have a choice. I, I'm well, the mother, so I make him come over here when he when, well, he, when he goes and picks him up. We but because he never him. goes and picks him up, I just put it on my app and report it, and that's it. We can't force him to go. Yeah. Okay, so and you. He's so, not in any danger here. I didn't say that he was in any danger. Saying, I'm I didn't say that. That's, that so I'm at, so, so you as well are denying me a felony report. Yeah, the ability the to find a felony report. That, okay, thank you very much. And you wrote your badge number on here as well? Mm -hmm. It's all on there. The call for service number that shows the date and the time of everything and mm -hmm. the times we arrived and when you called is all on there. Okay, thank you. No, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be taking a lot of actions, trust me. Okay. Because, you know, y'all, first of all, you all deny me a felony criminal report. That's. Okay. Well, then please call the chief deputy. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm not saying that to be a smart aleck. I'm, I'm not. I don't, want, I don't want to go any further, but I'm going to be calling please internal call. affairs as well and all of the above. That's fine. You do what you go need right to do because at the end of the day, if we're wrong, we're wrong. Yes. If you're wrong, you're wrong. I'm so, not. Well, I mean, okay. I'm just saying at the end I mean, of the day. You're awfully confident. Yeah, awfully. Awfully. Yeah. Trust me. Okay. And maybe I'll get help y'all get more familiar with the penal code 2503. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. thank y'all very much. All right. All this was worth it. Trust me. Y'all have a good day. You too. Y'all are good.